Today on Great Day Houston, the brain is the most complex organ in your body. It gives us the power to think, speak, plan, imagine, and remember. Now, we're getting inside your head and explaining how your brain controls your body and your emotions. Great Day Houston starts now. Cruising the Gulf Coast from the beaches of Galveston to the piney woods of Conroe. Down from the woodlands and up from Sugar Land. From the control room of Channel 11 in front of a live studio audience, it's Great Day Houston. And now, your host, Deborah Duncan. As we get older, it seems we start forgetting all that stuff we learned. The decline can start in our 30s. Is there a way to stop that from happening? Dr. Joseph Hardy from Posit Science says you can keep your brain fit. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so when we get older, a lot of people think the reason why we start losing things is because of dementia, Alzheimer's. That's something completely different. Right, so in the normal course of our lifespan, uh, as we get older, our ability to pay attention, to focus, and to remember things does start to decline, and that does start as early as our 30s. But very often, that's just a normal part of getting older, and it's not necessarily indicative of a disease. Yeah, is that short-term and long-term memory? Because I would think with with long-term, as as you get older, you have so much stuff in there. The brain finally says, says brain finally starts saying, get rid of that because you haven't used it in a long time. We got to make some room for other stuff. Well, actually, uh, the well, it's a little bit the opposite. Huh. I often get people asking me, why is it that I can remember what you know I was doing you know, in World War II? Yeah. I can remember World War II very distinctly, but I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning. Yeah. And really, a lot of that has to do with the memory decline that's happening in normal healthy aging is about the ability to form new memories. Uh -huh. And the reason that that's the problem, the ability to form new memories is the problem, is that the brain is getting essentially noisy. And so it's not encoding information as accurately as it once did. Okay, so there's a program to keep your brain fit. Explain briefly what it is, and then we're going to talk to some people who are actually uh, taking part in this. Yeah, so Posit Science, we make a brain fitness program, and it's sort of like a brain, uh, a set of brain exercises or a brain gym, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, that you can do that will improve your ability to remember things and to pay attention. All right, Pat Patterson is 89 years old. Hi, Pat. Hi. Okay, so you took part in this program. What do you think? Wonderful, wonderful. You know, I, uh, what, what really sold me was they say it'll take 10 years off of your memory age, your brain's age. I need that 10 years <laughs> at 89. <laughs> okay, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Pardon? What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had a, I had a roll. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I can here. remember that. Yeah. And then As a matter also, of fact, a, a, a one gauge that I use is how am I progressing is my crossword puzzles in the, in the Chronicle. Monday is good. Tuesday is not so bad. <laughs> Friday and Saturday, out of the way. I can get to Thursday now. Oh, oh that's Great. awesome. So you can see the progression. Yes. yes. Okay, and Ken, what do you do? Uh, I'm at the conservatory in uh, Woodlands, and it's a great place, and I enjoy being there, and I took the program, uh, Brain Fitness, and it's done dynamic things for me, absolutely. I uh, used to make mistakes on an exercise where I did three. Today I'm doing five. This is only 13 days later, wow. 13 hours, and I'm doing five error free. So that's a tremendous jump as far as I'm concerned. That's awesome. When they first told you about this, did you think it would work? Yes, I had a lot of faith in it, and it's working better than I really thought. Yeah, and you're also 89 years old. That's correct. Amazing. All right, uh, Linda Naroon, you're only 63, but you want to keep your brain active as well. Does it work if you start, the earlier you start doing this type of stuff? Well, what? I think, yeah, the earlier you can get involved with it, the more you can sort of, you know, build up those reserves and really build up those abilities as you get older. All right, and Linda, what are you doing? Well, I'm a provider of the, the posit science, uh -huh. and um, I have already completed the program and it helped me so it is um, uh, it, it helps me to provide it to other people because I know the results yeah. which are quite exceptional your brains plastic and so it keeps growing when you do these programs and we have Sophie Havasey and Sophie you are in your 50s you're 50 ish yes, I'm 53 okay and like Linda I'm a provider of the posit program and what I've found as a psychologist is that the baby boomers are, were particularly concerned about 
our health and well-being physically as well as mentally and that cognitive decline issues are a big concern and that by testing, by recommending programs like the Posit Science and encouraging people to do different things in their life, not the same old, same old, that they're really going to stretch their brains and maximize yeah, really as much as possible. Exercising the brain really is what it is. Exactly. Okay, so it's a number of different kinds of programs and, and what does it really test? The idea uh, for the Brain Fitness Program is it's about sound. It's about improving the way your brain processes sound information. By making it more efficient at listening, it actually is a, the brain is able to hold on to that information that you hear more effectively and then hold it down and put it into memory, store it in memory more effectively. All right, thank you very much. We'll be right back. for joining us today. He has invited me to go ahead and just sit in his lap. Oh, How yes. about that? Yeah, you said that was the icing on the cake there? Absolutely. Okay, but I think there's a problem back there in the audience. Yeah, watch it, Deborah. That's my husband. No, this is, oh, watch it, that's her husband. Oh, uh, but you said something else earlier. Yeah. I said you can sit on my lap because my wife is an aunt. Okay, then. <laughs> Have a great day, Houston, because I certainly am. 